Flagler County 911, where is your emergency? Hello? My friend just got shot. On April 13, 2019, on a Saturday at around 12.30 a.m., Marianne Lee Gavins Jr., 17, of Palm Coast, got into an altercation with Curtis Gray. Deputies found Gray bleeding from a gunshot wound to the abdomen. He was taken to Halley Flags Health Hospital, where he died. Okay, where are you? We're at the smoke shop. 8845 Beltair Parkway. Beltair Parkway? Yes. And you said he just got shot? Yes. Okay, where did he get shot at? We're in the parking lot. Okay. Where, no, where on his body? Where in his body? I can't hear you. I have a bad connection. Okay. Is there anyone there that can apply pressure to the wound? We're doing it. How old is he? How old is he? Hey, what is your name? We are on the phone with 911. Hang up. How old is he? 19 years old. 19 years old. Do you know, do you have? All right, you you keep the pressure there. But can you tell me the suspect who did this? Where is he? Here. Say that again. Okay, who did this to your friend? Uh, he's not my friend. I just came outside from my place and he was shot. Okay, did you see anyone or hear anything? No, but his friend is here. SUV, black SUV. It's in black. Black SUV? Okay, which way did that SUV leave? It's probably on Beltair. Beltair going towards the, uh, the uh, school. Towards which? Northbound? Towards, towards Bunnell? Buddy Taylor. Buddy Taylor Middle School. Okay, do you, did you see what they looked like in the vehicle? No. Hey, no, no extra. Stand in ambulance. No extra. Listen, there. I, I can't hear you, sir. Speak up a little bit. No exit wound in the back. No exit wound? No. Okay. Okay. Is he, is he still breathing? He's still alert? Okay. You guys are doing a great job. I need you guys to just keep on being calm. Stay with me, Okay. You have, you have no information on the people who are driving the SUV? No. Stay with me, yeah. Stay with me. Okay. Did you see if there was one or two people in the car now? Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. How's he doing? Is his, are, are his eyes open? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Okay, listen, you guys are doing great. You guys keep staying calm, keep applying pressure. We have multiple units on the way to help you, okay? All right. What's your name, sir? Anyone anyone who was out there that had any information more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of his friends are all here. They seven friends? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give him space to come in. What are you doing? He's all right. Talk to you. He's okay. Okay, the cop is there. Listen, I have an ambulance that's coming shortly to help as well, okay? Yeah. As soon as they get with you. All right, well, we can disconnect if, he's, if they're with you. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. All right, bye. Fire County 911, what's the location of your emergency? We got a throat shot by the, uh, 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 what's it called, kangaroo. My friend just got shot. At the kangaroo? Okay. Yes, yeah, by, uh, by the gas station, by um, oh. kangaroo. And okay. Okay, listen to me. Where, listen, being, being on the phone with me is not going to slow them down, okay? I need you to give me information. Where is he bleeding from? And it says, and it says, we got, uh... Is he awake? Uh, he's trying to... How old is he? This all he do is he's trying to... Listen, hey, what is your name? What is it? Listen to me. Can you get something to apply pressure or is somebody else already applying pressure? Okay, who shot him? We don't know. I see, I see people in the car. I see Frank. You see Frank? That's, that's Frank. Oh, my God. Yes, you know who it is. You know who it is. Who was it? Tell me who it was. It was, it was 
uh, it was his kid's friend, and he's in a car with two okay. others. He's in a car with three other people. It's a girl. It's two females. They in a uh, truck. They in a, a green, a pink truck. Okay, tell me what kind of car it was. It's a, I think it's a, uh, what do you call it? What type of, 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 what they went towards BCMS. BCMS. Okay, listen to me. You're doing a really good job. We have help on the way. The more information you can give me about Frank, the better, so that we can find him. What is Frank's last name? Uh, I don't know his last name, but I know it was a. It's a girl driving the truck. It's a white dude in the front, and then there's two other people in the back. Okay. And is Frank black, white, or Hispanic? Oh, is the person that's down or the people that's riding? No, Frank, the suspect, the, the guy that shot your friend, is he black, white, or Hispanic? We don't know who it is because it was, it was, uh, there were four cars deep. And no, there were four people deep. Okay. And it was okay, and somebody is, what is your friend's name? Kurt, his name is Curtis Gray. Curtis Gray. Curtis Gray. Yeah, and they went towards BKMS. Oh okay, you're doing a really good job. I have a lot of people coming to help you, and we're going to find Frank, too, okay? Do you have any idea where Frank may have been headed? They're in a big-ass SUV towards BTMS way. And I, Do you know where he lives or where any of those girls live? P-section, P-section, P-section. Into the P-section? Yes, they live in the P-section. Rope off the P-section. They live in the P-section. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're we've got them pulling up on scene. I want you to find an officer and give them all that information. We're having them look for Frank as well, okay? Bye, bye, bye. You did a really good job. Marion Lee Gavins Jr. turned himself in the next day. He was charged with first degree murder. Nine one one, where's your emergency? Hello, 911, where's your emergency? Somebody in my house. What's your address? <laughs> On April of 2017, police were called to a home when a 16-year-old said someone broke into his home. The teen tried to fight off the intruder, but was shot in the abdomen. While calling 911, the teen could be heard asking the gunman not to shoot him. Someone broke in? 315 Majestic Jaws, 315 Majestic Jaws. What happened? I got shot, I got shot, I got shot. Who shot you? I don't know. I don't know. Please get here now. Please don't go. Please, 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 please. Look to see who shot you. I can't move. I know. We have help please, on the please, way. Please, 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 please don't shoot me, bro. Please. Who is it? Who is it? I can't see. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please, please don't shoot me. Tell me who it is. I can't see. Please don't shoot me. Please, You know who it is. Do you have any idea who shot you? No, I don't know. Okay, there. Did you shoot yourself? No. I Somebody don't know. did they my, break in? Into my house. Did they leave? Yes, they just left. The door is still open. Where'd they shoot you? In my um. In my lower, uh, like, Back, leg, 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 um, stomach, appended. yeah, lower stomach. You can't see? Yeah, I can see, I can see. I got other contacts. Is someone on their way to get me? Yes. Okay. But I just need to know if you could see anybody who did it or if you know who did it or if they said anything. Anything at all? No, they didn't see anything. They wanted to come back and shoot me again, but they didn't. Police say more than one subject entered the home. The confrontation happened when the subjects tried to take a PlayStation. The victim survived. 
and was transported to the hospital where he recovered from surgery. Hello there. Hi there, this is Orlando Police. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with the person who pledged the allegiance to this morning. On June 12, 2016, Omar, a 29-year-old security guard, killed 49 people and wounded 53 others in a mass shooting inside Pulse, a gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida. The attack began on a Sunday at around 2 a.m. Pulse, which is one of the biggest nightclubs in Orlando, was holding a latin theme event that was nearing its end when a man opened fire. There were more than 300 people inside at the time. He had an automatic rifle, so nobody stood a chance, said Jackie Smith, who saw two friends next to her get shot. At 2 a.m. Nine, the nightclub posted on its Facebook page, everyone get out of Pulse and keep running. The gunman who was carrying an AR-15 type assault rifle and a handgun exchanged fire near the entrance with a police officer who was working at the nightclub. Additional officers arrived at the scene and a second gun battle ensued inside, forcing the gunman back. He took several people hostage in a bathroom at the back of the building and told police he had explosives. At this point, police were able to save and rescue dozens and dozens of people and get them out of the club. According to Orlando Police Chief John Mina, with the gunman holed up in the bathroom, police secured the building and began preparing to breach the external wall of the bathroom with explosives. Here are the audio recordings of the exchanges between shooter Omar and Orlando Police on the night of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Okay, um, can you tell me where you are right now so I can get you some help? No, because you, you have to tell America to stop bombing Syria and Iraq. They're killing a lot of innocent people. So what, what am I to do here when pe my people are getting killed over there? You get what I'm saying? I, I do. I completely get what you're saying. What I'm trying to do is prevent anybody else from getting in. They need to stop the U.S. airstrikes. They need to stop the U.S. airstrikes, okay? I understand they that. They need to stop the U.S. airstrikes. You have to tell the U.S. government to stop bombing. They're killing too many children. They're killing too many women. Okay? I understand that. But here's, here's, here's why I'm here right now. I'm with the Orlando police. Can you tell me what you know about what's going on tonight? What are, what's going on yes. is that I feel the pain of the people getting killed in Syria and Iraq and all over the Muslim America. Okay. So, so have you done something about that? Yes, I have. Tell me what you did, please. No, you already know what I did. Well, I'm trying to, to figure out how to keep you safe and how to get this resolved peacefully because I'm not a politician, I'm not a government. All I can do is help individuals, and I'm going to start with helping you. By the way, there's, there's some vehicles outside that have some bombs just to let you know. Your people are going to get it, and I'm going to ignite it if they try to do anything stupid. Okay, I, under, I understand that, and I'll pass that along. Can you tell me what vehicle? Because I don't want to see anybody get hurt. No. But I'll tell you this. They can take out a whole city block almost. I, I understand that. Tell me, in the club, do you have any injured people with you that you brought with you? I'm not. I'm not letting you know nothing. Well, I'm trying to offer you help. Well, you need to know that they need to stop bombing oh. Syria and Iraq. Look, the U.S. is collaborating with Russia, and they're killing innocent women and children, okay? I hear what you're saying. My homeboy, Tamerlan Sarnayev, did his thing on the Boston Marathon. My homeboy, Munir Abu Salha, did his thing, okay? So now, it's my turn, okay? Okay, let's start. My name's Andy. What's yours? My name is Islamic Soldier, okay? Okay. Is, is, what can I call you? Call me Mujahideen. Call me the Soldier of God. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's a lot for me to say. So can I, just, can I just call you something else? Do you have an, uh, a name, a nickname? The blessed, it's, the, it's the blessed month of Ramadan, if you ever know about that. Yes, it's I do. Month. I, under, I, I understand. fasted the whole day today. I fasted the whole day and I prayed. Okay. I, I understand that. Okay, what I'm trying to do is make sure that you and no one else suffers any further injury. Okay? I can help you. I have here. a vest. Okay, you have a vest. Hey. I understand that. 
Okay. And so what kind of vest are you talking about? Is it a, is it a bullet resistant vest? Is it a bomb vest? No. It's what they use in France. It's what they use in France. Okay. So, well, well, I'd like you to stay on the phone with me, please. Okay? Are you there? Please stay on the phone with me so I can help pass along your concerns. Well, you, can, you, could, you could bring the bomb dog. They're not going to smell shit. Well, I understand that. Stuff, You can't smell it. Bring, bring your little American well, bomb dog. Okay, well... They're outdated anyway. Well, tell me... Tell me... You're wearing, I presume from what you're saying, you're wearing a bomb vest? No. Well, you said you're wearing a vest. No, I'm not. So well, what are you wearing? Yeah, like, you know, to go out to a wedding. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to joke with you. I'm trying to be serious and, and get this peacefully resolved. Okay? So, are you wearing a bomb vest? You need to talk to me. You have to talk to me. Hello, Omar. This is Andy from Orlando Police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's going on right now, Omar. Yo, yo, the airstrike that killed Abu Wahid a few weeks ago, yes, that's what triggered it, okay? Okay. Okay? They shouldn't have bombed and killed Abu Wahid, okay? I understand. And figure, do your homework. And figure out who Abu Wahid is, okay? I understand that. What I want to find out is, are you injured? Omar. Well, I understand that, but if you're injured, I want to get you some help. No. Okay, do you have somebody with you? None of your business. Okay, tell me what you want me to pass along. Because I can't sit here and do research. I want to pass along. Tell them to stop bombing in Syria. Yes. The airstrikes need to stop. To stop collaborating with Russia. Okay? okay. I can pass that along. And, 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 and let it be known. Let it be known. In the next few days, you're going to see more of this type of action going on. Okay? Okay. I understand that. I can pass that along. Where is that going to happen? It's none of your business. Just let it be known. It's going to be done in the name of the Islamic State. Even though it's not... Airstrikes, it's strikes here, okay? I understand that. I understand that. So tell me what happened tonight. How did this go down for you? This went down. A lot of innocent women and children are getting killed in Syria and it all in Afghanistan, okay? I understand that. You're upset about the bombing in Syria and Afghanistan, and you want the bombing and the killing to stop. I understand yeah. your concern. I share that concern. I want to pass your message along. Just tell me what else you'd like me to pass along, please. Just stop. Tell them to stop. I will do that. I will do that. So can you tell me how we can peacefully resolve this tonight? I'd like to see you come out. I'd like Just to talk stop. to you some more. Tell, tell the the airstrikes need to stop. I'm doing that. I'm passing that message along. Immediately. You see? Now you feel. Now you feel how it is. Now you feel how it is. I understand your concern, Omar. Do you have somebody that you brought with you that we need to check on and make sure they're not injured? No, not, none of your, no, 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 Mr. Hotspitch negotiator, no, don't play no bullshit with me. Well, I'm trying to help you. Mm -hmm. You don't want people to get injured. I presume that means if you brought somebody with you, you don't want them hurt. Is that correct? None of your business, homeboy. Okay. Omar, can I get you to come outside and talk to my people there at the scene so we can peacefully resolve this? No. Okay, because I'm not there, but I have people there that would love to talk to you. Can you put down your weapon and come down outside and talk to them, please? You want to know what type of weapon I have, too? If you want to tell me. Or, or you want to know how many weapons I have? I can take that, too. I'm, I'm all ears, Omar. I have no agenda other than to help oh, you and pass along this message. So what year, 
What year did you graduate from the police academy? I'm sorry? What year did you graduate from the police academy? What year? So this is about you, okay? I'm here to help you. I'm here to pass along your information, okay? You don't want to know ancient history about me. Tell me how I can help you. You ask me, do I want to know about weapons? Sure, tell me about your weapons. Omar, I'm trying to help you. I can't do that if you won't give me something to pass along to, to the people that are in power, which is, I presume, what you want to happen out of all of this. I don't want to see you or any of your associates get hurt, and I don't want to see anybody else get hurt in the United States or anywhere else around the world. So tell me how you and I can work together to get this peacefully resolved now. Omar, I need to pass along what your concerns are. He has not said anything about... He, he said the bomb... Omar. ...in the cars, in the parking lot. Omar. Yeah. What's going on? I couldn't get a hold of you for a while. Well, you're annoying me with these phone calls, and I don't really appreciate it. Well, I understand that, but the fact that you appreciate it or not doesn't matter at this point. We need to talk, and we need to stay hey, in open hey, communication. Hey, like that. Yeah, no, 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 I'm treating you like an adult. We need to stay in constant contact. No, 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 no. Tell me what's going on right now, Omar. What's going on is that the airstrikes need to stop. Yes. Need to stop. The, the airstrikes the need to stop. I've heard that, and I want you to come outside and tell us that yourself so the message rings true from you. It's not me passing along your message. I'm doing that, but I need you to come outside with no weapons. Omar. Yep, you did hang up. 325. Next are the 911 calls from family and friends concerned about their loved ones still inside of the nightclub. One, what is the location of your emergency? Um, calls? Okay. What's going on? Um, yes, um, my brother is in there. Um, he, his position right now is um, in the unisex bathroom. Okay. Um, he's, tell, he's telling me there's um, already four dead in there. Okay, what's your name? From, um, I'm going to uh, stay on the phone with me. What's your daughter's name? My brother's name is... Okay, that's correct. All right. And you said he's telling you that there were four dead there? Yeah, and there are um, a lot of them that are wounded in there. Okay. And there's already four dead. Okay. Well, we've got deputies and a lot of officers in, in there right now. They're trying to get them all out. Just stay on the phone with me, okay? You said... And approximately how many are there total? Did he tell you? Um, he told me there were 20, but uh, there's four dead, so uh, okay. the other are wounded. Are you on the phone with him right now? He's just been texting me. Okay. He said he, he can't call out. Right. Has he told you anything about the person who did this? Like, any description of him at all? Can you ask him for one? Okay. Like, tell me, is he black, white, or Hispanic, or really anything about this guy would help us at this point. Okay. Okay. And for them, they should stay right there in the bathroom? They, 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 need to, they need to shelter where they are. And if the suspect is there, he needs to keep himself safe. So if he needs to put the phone down so he doesn't see that he has the phone, then that's what he needs to do. Okay. Yeah, he's like going on and off, on and off. I, I guess he's okay. hiding the phone or right, whatever. Right, right. Probably, that's so probably the case. Mm -hmm. We've got people there to help him, okay? Okay, okay. All right, so for them, for them right now to keep themselves in the bathroom. They need to shelter where they are if that's what's safe for them to do, okay? Okay, all right, okay. Thank you. If you get any more any more texts from him, you need to call us back, okay? All right. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Is 
the Pulse nightclub. My girlfriend's in the bathroom. There are now four dead in the bathroom and two shot. They're bleeding now. If somebody doesn't get there soon, they're going to die. Okay, sir, we have... And I, this is like the fifth time of... Right, so we, we, have people, we have people there. When did you? When did she contact you? I just finally got able to spoke with her again, and there's nobody in the nightclub. Okay. What is, this sir, is sir what is your name? Location. Your name? Yes. Okay, what's your girlfriend's name? You guys already have this information. I haven't spoken to you, sir. The fifth time of, well, it's the fifth time I'm calling you guys and telling you the same information, and, there's, and it's been which, over half an hour now, okay, and there's no which, did, she say, did you find out which bathroom she's in? She doesn't know. She ran into a bathroom. She doesn't know if it's female or male. She doesn't know if it's the back of the club or in the front of the club. All she knows is now there's four dead. And there's two shots that are bleeding out. They're about to die. Okay, sir. I see the updates in here. I'm going to add them with the additional information. I'm going to put in there for someone to call you when they have further, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, my son was shot in the, in the club in the polls in Orlando. And he's still in the bathroom when he's bleeding. He got shot. And nobody's going in for him. Okay, what's her name? His name is... Do you know which bathroom he's in? Um, he's in the polls. He's in, he's in the club. He's in yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, no, I understand. There's, there's a several bathrooms, though. Do you know which one he's in? I don't know what bathroom, no. <laughs> okay. There's nobody's going in for him. No, we do have lots of help out there. They're trying to get into the... Into I know, the place. I know. What's your name, but sir? He's in one of the bathrooms. My name is... I'm driving from out of town. From okay, who is to you? My son. Okay. Better birth is. Okay, and where do you guys live? Does he live with you? I I, I live in. No, no, he lives in Orlando. Do you know his address? He lives on. Okay, and do you know where he was shot at? I don't know where he was shot. No, I don't know. There's a friend of his that's a doctor, and she's you know, studied for a doctor, and she's there with him. Okay, is she trying to control the bleeding? Yeah, she's trying to control the bleeding in that. Okay, have you, where, are you where's, still where's the, where's the medic? Are you still texting huh? him, or no? No, no, I wasn't texting my, my daughter-in-law. She, she's talk, talking to her. But she's asking, where's, where's the ambulance? Where's the medic? Okay, so Somebody's been there for Somebody him. else is on the phone with them right now? Um, I think there's a little girl that right there, a friend, yes. Okay. Uh, it looks like um, Orlando Police Department, they, they're about to go in there, and um, the SWAT is going to go in there. So the whoever's in the bathroom, they just need to do whatever the police tell them to do, okay? Okay. Can yeah, you tell, can you tell them that? Yeah, no, I understand. Can you tell them to tell... Um, your son? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, try to tell them just to listen to whatever the police tell them to do. Okay. Okay. Anybody dead yet? I don't know, sir. No. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Did, did you let them know to just listen to the police? Yeah, I'm, I'm my wife. You're just texting, or you're on the phone talking to them. Well, she's gonna call. She's gonna call she's my gonna daughter-in-law. Call? Okay. My daughter-in-law was talking to her. Oh, okay. To tell yeah, her that just, there's just, a SWAT team going in. Yeah, just tell them to keep no, their heads down and just listen to the police. Go, a friend that there's a SWAT team that's gonna go in. They're about to go in. There's a SWAT team going into the club. Did you, did you let them know? Just listen to the police yes, when they're entering? Yes. Okay. I let them know. So are you talking you to them on number? the phone? Did you want her number? This is of the friend? Yes. Okay, and were, you, she's she, were you... She's in the room where... She's in the bathroom with my friend. Okay, can you ask um which bathroom they're in? Okay, but are you just texting her or are you talking to her on the phone? No, well, we're not talking to her yet, no, because I was talking to my daughter-in-law. But that's okay. the girl's number. She's in the bathroom. With okay, is, is your daughter-in-law talking to her on the phone or texting? She was. Which one? 
talking? talking to her. Okay. Is yeah. it, is, she's not anymore? Uh, no. No, yes. So she was talking to us, so she stopped. She just stopped talking? Yeah, so us. Uh, my daughter-in-law was talking to her, but then she hung up to talk to us. Oh, okay. And that's the number for the girl. That The number I gave you is the number for the girl in the bathroom. And you said that she's that a doctor? She's my son. Yeah, well, she studied to be a doctor or was studying to be a doctor or something like that. So she was trying to hold, you know, suppress the bleeding or hold the bleeding. Uh, oh, gosh. But you don't know where he was shot at? I don't know what bathroom, no. Or where he was shot, no. Okay. They said it was Nazi gunmen or something like that. I'm sorry? Somebody told me that there were Nazi gunmen in there. I'm not sure if they were Nazi, but there was a gunman. There was two, right? I'm not sure. Yeah. Is, that, is that what they said there was two? Yes. How long ago did you get all this information? I got it from the news on, on, on the phone. You got it from the news? Gunmen. Okay. Yes, oh no. I'm just asking what your what information you got from your son and her and his friend. I don't yeah. need to know what the news is saying. Oh my god, no way. It's crazy. Alright, sir. Um like I said, the SWAT team is going in there, so just if you do okay. hear back from your son or his friend, just give us a call right back at nine one one, okay? Police department officers shot Omar and killed him after a three hour standoff. What's the address of the emergency? My my daughter, she's um, coming in and out of consciousness, and she's not breathing right now. And she's all. What address are you? In 2015, just hours after two-year-old Kinsley received her fatal injuries, Rebecca Kenner, 24, pleaded guilty in March 2016 to involuntary manslaughter, permitting child abuse and endangering children after she did nothing to stop her boyfriend Bradley Young from beating her two-year-old daughter Kinsley to death. Years of disturbing 911 call. Where are you at? What's that? 3457. Okay, you're in Madison Township? Yes. What's your name? Rebecca Kenner. Okay, let's let's try to keep it together. Do you need to, do you need to get next to her for me, or are you next to her right now? I'm next to her right now. Okay. Tell me exactly what happened. Did you find her like this, or? Um, yes, she went to bed, and she woke up screaming on the top of her lungs you know, twice, and now we can't get her to wake up. Okay, how old is she? She's two. She's two? Yes. Okay. Okay, so is she conscious right now or is she, she actually... No, she's actually unconscious right now. Okay. Is she breathing? On and off. Okay. Barely. Okay. Okay, listen to me. So she's not breathing normally, correct? No, she's not. Okay, tell him, tell him the life squad's on the way, but I want to help you guys do CPR. Do you know how to do CPR? Yes, we know how to do CPR. Okay. Listen, where do you have her at? Is she laying on the ground? Right now we have her on the kitchen table. Okay, I want you to stand, go next to her for me, okay? Okay. I want her laying on her back flat. Can you, does she have like a sleeper on or something, a nightgown? She has on sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt. Okay. Hey, listen, you need to keep it together so we can take care of your baby, okay? Yeah. Okay, listen to me. I want you to check her mouth and see if there's any food or vomit in there, okay? There's you, not. Okay, you already checked? Yeah. Okay. Place your hand on her forehead and your other hand under her neck and, and tear, uh, lift her chin up, okay? Tilt her chin. Okay. Have you guys already done? He's doing that now. Her her heart's beating, but it's beating really fast. And she just stopped breathing in her eyes and her okay. eyes. Thing, but... Okay, listen. We need to keep the CPR. If she's not breathing, we have to do CPR for her. Okay. 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 I want I want somebody to put their ear next to her mouth, and I want to see if there's any breathing. If you can feel or hear any breathing. She's not right now. He's trying. Okay. Tell him I, I want him to listen to what I'm saying, okay? I want everything I, everything I say, I want you to tell him, okay? Tell him to put his mouth next to her ear and see if there, he can feel or hear her breathing. No, no. She's taking breaths like every, like, 10, 15 seconds, she's taking big, deep breaths. Okay. So she's breathing just a little, correct? 
Yeah, ba barely. I mean, she's not turning purple or nothing yet, but she, I mean, I can close your eyes and show up and light back up. But she, okay. she, she's completely unresponsive. Okay, because, because of her ineffective breathing, we need to give her some mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, okay? Okay. Okay, listen to exactly what I'm telling you to do because I know you're nervous. We're going to walk through this together, okay? Put her head back, pinch her nose, okay. cover her mouth with your mouth, and give her two breaths, one second each, to make sure that her chest rises with every breath, okay? I did. Okay, do you feel the air go in and out? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm just trying to see what you're telling me to do. I'm freaking out. Okay. You just stay with me, okay? Listen, you need to do chest compressions. Can you put her on the ground? Yes, ma'am. Okay, put her on the ground. Okay, she's on the ground. Okay, place the heel of your hand between her chest bone, right between her nipples. All right. Okay, we're going to push down just two inches because of her age, and I want you to do this 30 times and fast, okay? Okay. Okay, and you, you understand me so far? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, keep going, okay? And I want you to count out loud, okay? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, with your hand, with your other hand, pinch your nose, tilt her head back, and give her two more breaths. Make sure her chest rises and falls, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go back to chest compressions. Count to 30 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, two more breaths. Tilt her head back. Pinch her nose. We're going to keep doing this. You're doing great. Keep going, okay? Give her 30 chest compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, and 9, 30. Tilt her head back, pinch her nose. Is the air going in? Yeah, she's, 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 she's releasing the back out. I heard her. Okay, uh, yep, okay. Back to chest compressions. Keep going. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 28, 29, 30. Okay, two breaths. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 28, and 9, 30. Okay, two more breaths. Okay, don't give up. We're going to keep doing this until the paramedics get there. It should be shortly. Oh, five, the morning out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Come on, sis. Do you see anybody out there? You're in Madison Township, right? They're here right now, ma'am. They're there. Let them take over, but don't stop until they take over. I want you to keep going until they actually take over chest compressions, okay? The officer's here. Okay. Let him take over, okay? Yeah, she's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. Bradley Young, the boyfriend, was convicted of murder and sentenced in October of 2016 to life in prison without the possibility of parole for 15 years. Nine one one. What's the address of the emergency? Hi, um, I'm at Hudson Market in Wild Greens. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Um, I'm I'm sorry. This, uh, guest asked me to call you, ma'am, ma'am. I called nine one one. What's wrong? Can I hand you the phone to her? Sure. Nine one one. I need you to come to Wild Greens, please. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. There's a man with a gun and he's holding me hostage. On Wednesday, June 11th of 2015, police received multiple 911 calls about a man with a gun in the Wild Dunes area. According to police, 39-year-old Robert Howell broke into the residence of a former girlfriend and took her out at gunpoint. I need you to get here quick. Okay, and you're at the market? Yes. Okay. okay. Who is this man to you? Look, I need you to get here quickly. Okay, ma'am, they're coming as fast as they can. This isn't slowing anything down, but I need to get more info for my responders. What's your name? 
on me. Okay, how do you know this ma'am? Hello? His name is Robbie Powell. Robbie Howell or Powell? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Everyone, go towards the back. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Uh, this is Wild Dunes Resort. And uh, we had a, someone said that there was a gun pointing at someone at Hudson's Market. At the okay, Plaza. Hudson's Market, do you have that address? Uh, it is 5757 Palm Boulevard, that it's within Wild Dunes Gate. Okay, I'm showing um, Hudson's Market, it's 5802 Palm, is that it correct? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, well we do have that call already. Okay. Yeah, we do have the call already. Okay, thank and you. And your name and number, sir? My name is Joe Salute. I'm the housekeeping manager. My office number is 843. Yes, sir. We already have it at Hudson's Market, okay? Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Hello? Hello, what is the address of the emergency? Um, we're at the Wild Dunes Inn uh, Resort. Yeah, we're from Ohio, but... We were just in the coffee shop, and there was a guy in there with a gun. What is the address? I, I don't know. It's at the boardwalk in. I think in my GPS to get me here, I put one sundial circle, island of the palm. It's okay, the what's the name of the market. business? Hudson's Market. The Hudson Market? Yes. At the boardwalk in. And you said there's a male in there with a gun? I, yeah. I, I mean, my boyfriend just came out and told me that there's someone in there with a gun. Okay, what's your name? Amber. One moment. Okay, and are you still at that location now? Yes. There's a bunch of people outside. Because your name is Amber? Yes. Okay, and can you see him now or see what's going on? I cannot. Is the guy still in there? Can you see him? Can you describe uh, him to me? What race No, I cannot. I did, I did not see him. My boyfriend was in there getting coffee and saw him and came out and basically... Did you ask him, like, what him. race he was, what color shirt or anything he had no, on? No, I did not. I did not ask him anything. So where's your boyfriend now? We don't want anyone to put themselves in any danger, but if you can ask your boyfriend his description for me so we can let the officers know. As long as they know not to get in there. If she wants to know the description. Hello, this is Jeremy. Yes, sir. Can you describe the male that had the gun? He has a ball he has a ball cap. He's wearing a T shirt, cargo shorts. Um what color short or uh, hat? Uh yeah, I'd say like a I'd make sure you know uh Light brown and a dark brown. He's got a beard. Okay. He's wearing like a. Oh. Do you know what color shirt? I uh, I'm gonna go with at least a dark blue. Close. I mean, you know, uh, bluish, maybe gray. He's got. He was walking with a German shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. Walking and, and with what a German shepherd. He the, the, the German shepherd is outside of. Was outside of the uh, like the, the thing is when I walked in. Well, anyways, the, the German Shepherd is outside of the building by himself. The lady, I'm sorry. Um, go going. ahead with what you were saying. You said there was uh, a lady. Um, when the lady that was with him was wearing uh, a, a tank top with orange shorts, and she's the one that went over the counter, and she's the one to keep on saying, she started saying, help me, help me, help me. So we thought that she had fallen or something, because uh -huh. they, 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 they had already left. When I was walking into the restaurant, um, they they walked out and then I walked back in. They ordered some food and then they walked back in there. And um, I'm sorry, I remember. 
Okay. So we, so after all he heard her say, help me, and then I, when I turned around and looked at him, and he was behind the counter. Hold on. So the male went behind the uh, counter? Hold on, there's, there's a scream going on here. Someone's screaming now? Sir, don't put yourself in any danger. Uh, right there. Here, he's, he's wearing a... Sir. Hold on a second, ma'am. Let me record this. Okay, do not put yourself in any danger. What are you I'm recording? I'm not, ma'am. He's got a gray shirt, gray Adidas hat. A gray shirt. He's now gray walking. Gray Adidas hat? What? He said a gray Adidas hat? No, he's got a gray Adidas shirt on. They're sweating. He's got a light tan ball cap. Khaki shorts. They're, they're moving. They have left that They have left that restaurant. Now they're walking down towards the Grand Pavilion. So he's like walking towards the Grand Pavilion? Yes. At, I'm, I'm at the big... I'm at the big hotel right now. Okay, where is he now? They're walking. They're, they're, that's, that's the guy. He's walking. He's south. He's uh, eastbound towards the ocean. Walking towards the ocean? Yes, ma'am. Is anyone with him? Just that. Just the woman that described you wearing the, the orange shorts. Does he have a child or anyone else with him? There is nobody else with him. Okay, keep me updated on their location, but do not put yourself in any danger. Okay, I'm about 100 yards away from him, okay? Okay. Can you see the gun now? What's he doing? He's still, uh, they're still walking. I've, kind of, I've lost eye, 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 eyesight, well, but... Okay, is he on boardwalk or on, on the street? We're, we're, we're getting the cops right now. I think they're coming. We're, is they're the walking that way. We're on the boardwalk that way. side or on the street? Hold on a second. There's a cop right here. Okay, can you tell me if they're on the boardwalk side or on the street? Is the officer with the suspect now? There's two on their way. There's two showing up. There's two officers on, on heading towards the man, and there's people waving them in the direction that he need, they need to be going. Okay. Do you know if he was on the boardwalk or on the street? One more time, ma'am. Was he on the boardwalk side or on the street side? He's 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 fine on the boardwalk, and there are there are. On the boardwalk going. side. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you, do the officers see him now? Are they with him or near they're, him? They're all. They're all parked and they're out of their squad cars heading in the in the vicinity of that man. Oh, that's the lady. I, they, I think they got the lady. The officers have the female now? Yes, ma'am, they do. They do? They got, the, the, not the hostages, but the, the, the people that work here. Okay. I, I don't know if the guy's been detained yet. I'm not going that far. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you go since officers are on scene, sir. Thank you so much for your help. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. Authorities located Howell near Grand Pavilion, where he was taken into custody. The victim is okay. Once outside, she mouthed that she needed assistance. Howell is charged with attempted murder, kidnapping, first-degree burglary, use of a weapon during a violent crime, and cocaine possession. He is being housed at the A1 Canyon Detention Center. Jade Anderson bit off about one third of Leon Wu's ear and punched his wife and daughter in the forehead during a confrontation over an order at the couple's restaurant China One on Cass Avenue east of Grosbeck Highway in Mount Clemens. The incident took place at about 9.30 p.m. June 28th of 2018 when Anderson arrived to pick up an online order but wasn't happy about the vegetables in her food. Why is she doing this, do you know? She's hitting my mom and my mom's hurt. 
Do you know why? Because this is like a restaurant, she'll order food and she refund it, and then she just tosses the food all over the floor on, on purpose, and then she just, and then my mom got mad, and then she just started hitting my mom, and then I tried helping my mom out, she just punched me in the face. Okay. Is she still there? Is she still there? Is she still there? Yeah, my dad's blocking the way. Okay. What is your what's hurt on your mom? She got she hit my mom. Okay, what? What? You hit her first, and you also hit me. You're big already. That's what I'm tired of you. Can you please tell she's running away now? Did she leave the restaurant? Oh, she's trying to get away. She's fighting now. 424 Cass Avenue, Mount Clemens. Did she come in the car or no? What? Did she come in the car or no? She's on the ground screaming and yelling, and I pulled okay. over across the street at the apartment, the uh, Highland Income Tax. Okay. Hang on. I'll see if I can get another view of it. Put my car in park here. Uh, looks like there's uh, it's a girl in a white T-shirt on the ground, and then there's a dude standing in the doorway okay. with the door open. Okay. What else are you seeing? Uh, looks like there's still a couple of people inside the restaurant. Okay. And there's a, there's a male in the doorway? Uh, yeah, they're pushing and punching each other right now. White male, black male, is that anything? Uh, kind of hard to tell. It looks like it might be a black male. It looks like he's trying to shut the door, but they're not letting them. Okay. I, I know there's two people out in front of Cash Bay watching the whole incident right now. But okay. How, how many people are involved in this fight? Uh, one, two, three, four. Four people are tussling on the ground right now. Okay. So it's uh, a male and is it two male or like is it two females, two males? Or what's that? Uh, it looks like two males and two females that are uh, fighting with each other. Uh, I see the officer right here. Yeah, he's going to catch it right now. He's pulling up. The officer's there now? Yeah, I just seen the sheriff pull up. Okay. So what is your name? And uh, we'll let the officers take over. If, if you wouldn't mind sticking around and uh, talking to the deputies and letting them know what you saw. Uh, yeah, I can. I'm, like I said, I'm right across the street. I'll pull up over there and uh, let them know. Okay. All right. I appreciate appreciate your call, Sean, and thank you for your help. Hey, no problem. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. 
Jade Anderson, 26, of Mount Clemens, received the sentence from Judge Carl in Macomb County Circuit Court after she was found not guilty of assault with intent to do great bodily harm, a 10-year felony, and convicted of misdemeanor assault and battery, punishable by up to 93 days in jail. 911, what is your emergency? We got a car in the river at Silver Beach where they're working on the bridge. Uh, we need somebody quick. Yeah, okay. it's in the river upside down. We need somebody quick.